The CFL fans are looking forward to Sunday, although it is extremely rare for us to have somebody associated with the double blue on our show. We did have Ticats head coach Orlando Steinauer on the show yesterday. So to properly get you set for the East Final that goes down from BMO Field on Sunday between the Ticats and Argos, we say good morning to Toronto Argos head coach Ryan Didwitty and welcome him, him, welcome him into enemy territory. Good morning, coach. Thanks for having me on, Tim. I appreciate it. Good. Well, good to see you. That, that video that we were showing off the top there is when you guys uh, won the last second uh, in the Thanksgiving game. And we didn't see the video, but you were rather excited um, afterwards about winning that game. What have you learned from this rivalry in the short time that you've been involved? Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I anticipated. You know, I've been in uh, Saskatchewan, Winnipeg. I understand what that's, that's about from both ends of that. And spent some time in Calgary and Edmonton. And, and uh, I think we're right there with the Saskatchewan and Winnipeg rivalry. It's, it's a big deal, and you can feel the emotion of the game. So we're getting ready for Sunday. Um, you've done really well against the against the Tabbies this season. So you've played four times, winning three of them, including, including, including the last three. What have you guys done well in those three wins? Yeah, I just think we're pretty resilient. Uh, the first two weren't pretty. Uh, you know, we, we found a way to battle back. And the last one, I thought we controlled the game uh, from the get-go and, and found a way to finish out the right way. But, you know, it's just going to be tough. you got to beat them four times in a row. And uh, that, they're a darn good football team. they got a good defense. And they've been together for a long time, so they know how to win big football games. They've been here before. How much is your messaging like, listen, Ticats have a chance to play the Grey Cup on their home field at Tim Hortons Field. You have a chance to ruin that party. Like, how much is that the messaging to your squad? Uh, not so much. I mean, I think our players would enjoy that, but I, we, want <laughs> up and we want to be there. And it's just, it's a, be a home game for us. We only have to travel, you know, 45 minutes. So we're just more focused on this game and winning it and giving us a chance, opportunity to, you know, win a great cup championship. And, you know, they, they want to play at home, but I don't think they matter if it was in Hamilton or versus Saskatchewan. They want to win it just as much as us. So it's just... It's, the, it's everybody's uh, end of the year goal. You want to be in the cup, you want to get a chance to win the championship. So you guys went from 14-4 uh, and four in 2019. Um, this is your first year as, as a head coach in the league. Uh, you went from 14-4 four in 2019 to, to first place in the East. Like, how would you evaluate yourself? You're up for coach of the year. How have you done? Yeah, I think I've had my moments where I, you know, I uh, learned from some mistakes that I made, and, and you, you're, you're going to have some growing pains as a young rookie coach. But I felt like we've, we've accomplished most of our goals, and it uh, has been always pretty, but we found a way to be resilient and find a way to win football games. I think the culture's changing uh, in this building, and guys are expecting to win and putting the work in to go get it done on game day. So, uh, you know, we, we're a confident group. We're battle-tested. We've won some close games, and they haven't been pretty, but we've found a way to get it done. So. Uh, we're a pretty confident group right now. Let's well, talk about the building, and you know come Sunday, there's going to be Argos fans there. There's going to be a whole lot of black and gold in the stands too, because you said it's just 45 minutes right down the road, and you know that Ticat fans travel well. What's that going to be like for you to have so much black and gold in the stands? Yeah, there'll be double blue there too, but even maybe even more black and gold. Yeah, no doubt. I think, you know, it's going to uh, bring some, I guess, some juice to them as well and they feel like it's almost like a home game but it's just going to be a rivalry game and that's the, the nice part about it you can have uh, fans from both teams there you know uh, you know beaking each other a little bit and it's going to be <laughs> so uh, you know, a lot of bragging rights on the line for a lot of fans yeah as it what's it been like because Toronto is a tough market there's a, there's a lot going on in Toronto um, what's it been like for you trying to trying to motivate the the city and getting more support for the double blue yeah, we haven't got a chance to really get out too much with the whole COVID thing. And, yeah. you know, I've been stuck in my house for two years, it seems like. But, uh, you know, we just want to win football games at home and, and put out a good product. And we feel like if you build it, they will come. Uh, you know, you've got you to be a successful football uh, club to get people to come to the games. they got to want to watch your games. So let's keep playing good football. Eventually, they're going to start coming out, and hopefully we can get a you know, big crowd each week. Well, listen, we appreciate you coming on the show, a show in Hamilton. We have to, uh, let's uh, get you set for Sunday afternoon. Note the kickoff time on Sunday, 1230. Coach Dinwiddie would love to see a bunch of black and gold in the stands, so go support his wish. Gates open at 11 a.m. and proof of vax is needed. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. All right, Tim, thanks. Appreciate it. Have a good one.